So now I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So assuming that the casualty rug can't get injured, so what you want to do is to place the triangle bandage for any piece of material and direct pressure. Alternatively, you can ask the casualty to direct pressure himself. Next, you want to take a roller bandage and start from the wrist. Only one to two rounds around the wrist, not too tight. If it's too tight, the blood cannot flow to the palm. So after you do the one to two round, you can tell the casualty to let go of their hand. Right? And you want to cross upwards, diagonally across. And at the back of the hand, go straight across. And now that you come to the injured area, you want to cross down. So you mark the X. And you repeat these steps, covering a bit more. So you go up, go across, and cross down. So this is known as the figure eight. So once you are done, you can go in spiral bending until the bandage is fully covered. If you want to apply more pressure, cross down, cross up, go straight across, cross down, go across, cross up, and repeat the figure hit until your bandage ends. Tuck in any, un any unnecessary or any excess bandage into the bandage. Alternatively, you can use a hook or you can use a tape or even safety pin. So this is how you do the pump bandage.